today's video is going to be what's in our homeschool cabinet. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Brittany. I have four kiddos. Layla, who is 10, Aurora is 6, Jade is 3, and Josiah is 1. So I've actually been a homeschool mom for years and years. I started homeschooling when my oldest daughter, Layla, was in kindergarten. She's now in fifth grade. So I've been homeschooling for a while, so I kind of know like what works for us, what's like my must-have supplies, what I don't like. So I've got it pretty narrowed down. I would say this is pretty minimal. I don't have too much in here. So I thought I would share with you guys. So I'm going to take you through our supplies, the curriculum that I'm using. I currently only have one homeschooled kiddo, Jade. And then as for my two older kiddos, Layla and Aurora, they actually just started public school this year. So we're giving that a try. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and take you guys to our cabinet. So this is our homeschool area. I homeschool anywhere throughout my house. But this is where I keep all of our homeschool supplies. So this little area is actually right off of our playroom just like our old house so up top i have this pegboard i just put it up the other day so i need to get some more like of these things some more accessories but for now i just have some of these dry erase markers the eraser and then right over here is our love every weather board this came in one of the play kits and we love it i use this all the time so it has the season cards, the weather, days of the week, temperature. On top of the cabinet, I have some phonics cards. This basket up here holds some of our stuff for a curriculum that we're using. We're currently using handwriting without tears, so it comes with this little double-sided chalkboard. Comes with some chalk. And then these blocks are actually used to make letters. So you can make capital letters, lowercase letters. So that's what I have up top. So let's go ahead and dive right into the cabinet. So we'll start with the top shelf. So I have this clear acrylic caddy. You guys have seen this in like all of my homeschool videos. This is like the best thing ever. So we have some of these chunky crayons. Some kid friendly scissors. These don't actually like cut hair or anything. So they're great for kiddos that are just starting out. A sharpener. Eraser. Some extra chalk and sponges that came with our curriculum. A glue stick and then some little tiny pencils again these came with our curriculum kit dot stickers the best pencils ever in my opinion also have a red pen in there for correcting magnetic bookmarkers I love to use these especially in the morning when I am planning out what I'm going to do for the day. This is our little book of joy. I absolutely love this. This is 365 ways to celebrate every day. It is seriously the cutest book ever. So for example, February 12th is Discover the Night Sky. March 16th is Marvel at Butterflies. May 1st is Look Up to Space. And then there's also holidays in here as well so let me see let me find so there's also holidays in here as well this from love every you've probably seen this in my other homeschool videos i use this to teach primary and secondary colors it comes with these little tubes right here i have this big old container of our bear counters these are great for color sorting sometimes i use it for size sorting because there's big bears in here medium sized bears little bears or i just use it for math they're great as counters and then this big bin i have these magnetic letters so there's uppercase in here there's also lowercase so they just really come in handy i have some of these clear um, I don't even know what you would call them, but I use them for math. I have some lacing beads in here, which are great for my toddler. Just a bunch of animals. And then here is the little thing, so you just lace them. A great fine motor activity. Cube links for math. So that's everything that's on 
the top of this bin so shape puzzle so it comes with these little shape blocks and then it comes with these cards so your child has to use the blocks that are in here to create the picture and then the back side of the card shows which blocks were used to create the picture so that's a fun like activity just to pull out in the morning if i'm not ready to teach her yet again another love every set this is perfect for science i also use it for my toddler for like pouring activities all of these tubes like i previously mentioned go with this have some scoops in here for sensory play magnets droppers prisms the last thing that's in this bin is this wooden board it comes with cards some are challenging some are easy and then it comes with all of the rubber bands and then your child has to recreate the picture by putting the rubber bands on the board so that's everything that's in this bin moving on to the bottom shelf now i have my printer in here it's a canon printer i just recently got this so i haven't been using it for too long but i did use it to print out jade's curriculum which was like over 350 pages hole puncher it punches like 40 plus pages so this really came in handy when i did her curriculum i have my planner in here not my favorite planner there was a bunch of pages in the back that i just would never use because it had like roll call and just like things that public school teachers would need that I don't need as a homeschool teacher. This is my preschooler's main curriculum. I went with playing preschool. It was really inexpensive. It was on sale for $29 when I got it. Here's the table of contents. There's like apples, colors, weather, plants, construction, opposites. Breaks it down throughout the week. There's a lot of read alouds. There's a lot of hands-on activities. It's really simple, really easy to follow. There's a lot of fun crafts in here. This is our other curriculum that I mentioned earlier. This is Handwriting Without Tears, so it comes with my first lowercase book. This mat for the blocks. Drawing things in here. Letters. Numbers. Next is this magnetic letter board. So this is great if you have a child that's just starting to write. This shows your child how the letter should be written. Yeah, it also has lowercase on this side. A whiteboard. This is our busy board. You've probably seen this in some of my homeschool videos as well. So it has this front pocket. So here's the busy book. So it has numbers, everything Velcros. It has colors days of the week, months of the year, weather, seasons, has feelings. So this acrylic bin, this first book, I absolutely love this, use this all the time. So it has 50 mindful moments in nature. I've shared this book previously. I've done lessons based off this book. It's amazing, the illustrations are so beautiful. A tad bulb comes a frog. A sunflower tracks the sun. A great book to teach your child about nature and then you can really just build off of it and do a whole lesson. These two books are also great. So this one is Exploring Nature. It has 50 creative projects for outdoors. This one is our science book. This one is great. We did this one. This one was really fun. It's like wind powered cars. We had to create them and see which car went the fastest. I have a sketchbook in here. This is completely empty. We haven't used it yet, but I did get this to create a learning journal for my daughter. I have some workbooks in here. So this one is preschool math. This is geared towards ages two to four. Again, we haven't started it yet because we're working on our curriculum stuff, but these two workbooks I just got randomly in the Bullseyes Playground at Target. So this one is colors and shapes. This one is Alphabet, a STEM kindergarten book. This one used to be Aurora's, but there's still a lot of good pages in here. I have this wipeable tracing book. I have a name tracing whiteboard in here for Jade so she can practice writing her name. I have some folders in here. Then I have Jade's morning menu. I need to create some new pages. I created this whole thing myself, so I did feelings today's weather again some name tracing shape tracing alphabet numbers 
and then affirmations this is the last thing that i keep in here it's just all papers so construction papers and printing paper so that's everything that's in my homeschool cabinet currently for my preschooler jade let me know if you guys want to see some more homeschool content or if there's something specific that you're wanting to see let me know down below in the comments don't forget to check out the description for links to everything i always update my amazon storefront with my recent purchases or just things that my family loves so definitely check that out in the description below and i will see you guys in my next video bye